What's up guys, quick video. I just wanted to go over some of the work that I and my dad had done to the truck. Uh, so we give you guys an update, show you around, uh, and help through anyone else who might be wanting to do some of the similar stuff. So let's turn this camera around. When I got the truck back from the shop, suddenly, and you can see like, you know, they spilled some oil, you know, they, they greased things. There's, the grease is coming out of the fittings, all that good stuff. Oil's looking good. But uh, I had issues with my, my alternator stopped working. So just I think two days after I was at the shop. So me and my dad actually changed this. And for anyone who might want to do that themselves, this here is just your adjuster for the belt tensioner. You need to loosen up that nut and then the two underneath it there, you can loosen those up. Loosen up that bad boy right there. This bad boy right there, they're like 19 millimeter. And then you can shimmy off the belts. And uh, those you can just fit around the fan. You don't, the fan blades, you don't have to take off anything. It's You can do it yourself easily. It took me and my dad like an hour and a half and we were you know, messing around um, figuring stuff out. But I went ahead and replaced the belts too because they were kind of cracked. So now she's charging. Looking good. So, isn't that kind of how that always seems to work as soon as you take your truck to the shop? And all of a sudden, like the, my volt meter would be you know, 14 and then it would drop to 12 and I was riding on battery. It was down to like below 11. Uh, I got lucky. I think that I even made it home. And uh, when I made it home, I had a load that delivered. Uh, actually, lucky, lucky for me, it delivered uh, Columbus, Ohio, where I live the next morning at 7 a.m. So that night, I was able to get home from Indiana. The truck drove and it, it would charge intermittently. So uh, I made it home, went to the Kenworth dealership. That um, alternator was and belts was like 280, no core really nice for that you just have to swap the pulley over which impact gun made that easy uh, and made the delivery the next morning so you can do a lot of this work on these trucks yourself so if anyone's think about wanting to do that themselves you know whatever I say do it all right the next thing that I had to do when we uh, my dad and I were doing this we noticed that uh, my lights here, the side lights, they had a short in them and we didn't know where it was. And we were inspecting where they had done the, uh, the, I can't think of the bunk heater. And we found the short because it actually was cold enough where it started smoking. And you can kind of see it was here. I had already fixed it. I just did another video on that. But those wires had melted together. It was smoking. So I just cut them out and uh, replaced the whole section. But connected it up taped it up at least while i'm here out on the road i can do something a little bit better later on but so then when i was doing that this light here was the only one on this side that was a halogen bulb not led and i had it so i was like let's go ahead and swap it out but all of a sudden that one wasn't working yeah you know, yeah i don't think yeah, i can get you up there to see what i had to do there well what had happened was the female end on the truck harness itself dry rotted and uh, snapped off or the ground connection to it did so what I had to do was just cut, cut the whole thing off and then take the, the male end on the on the light cut that off and then just hard wire all you know all three together or the, the power ground and then to the light. So now, when I flip my switch, oh yeah, they work. They all work. And it doesn't smoke and catch fire anymore, so, you know, win-win. So yeah, I had a, I got a pickup today at a, five o'clock. I thought I could probably get there around 3, 30, 4 o'clock. So I'm definitely gonna get there as early as I can. Whew. I'll put this pen back. Uh, other than that, what I did, um, I got the uh, scan gauge. I'll show you that here real quick. <coughs> I got it mounted right here. It plugs into the nine pin down there. 
and then I just ran the the wire up through here and then I tucked it underneath this little mat right here. I don't know if you can see it. That way it's it's pretty clean, comes out right there. I still need to do something with the the Sam Sarah crab. I don't want it there, but for now, it is what it is. But uh so yeah, learning a lot about this truck as far as where it likes to run, RPM range, uh, cruise control seems to suck. Uh, I did not expect that. I, I sort of expected that uh, cruise control would be the best way to get fuel economy, but it's not. I can do better on the pedal than with the cruise. Now that might not be true for, you know, all the newer trucks and with, it, with the automatics and stuff, you probably do better to be on cruise. But uh, with these old girls, you can do better. Back here, I still love this couch. Uh, bunk heater still working really really good saving a lot of money there which is great so trucks coming along I gotta get the uh, inverter still and then I'm gonna put a microwave in here oh I'll show you guys this my dad's proud of this turn the camera around here so this table here when I when I got the truck this it had come apart right here at this seam so it was broken so whenever you released it you know just the one side would fall down and then you see I don't know if hopefully you can see turn the light on here for you oh no they nutted shit but this uh my dad did this came up with like a, a leg idea where you, it's just uh pegged in there and you can turn this to adjust the height it's like a, a screw in there so then you can let this down that leg opens up. I said that leg opens up. There we go. And boom! Got me a table. Yay! See, now, now I can eat down here. Coming up in the world. Got a table, it's pretty sturdy. So that's pretty nice. So then what I'm gonna do is turn this into my food side and that'll be like my clothes side. So yeah. And getting some stuff done, improving, improving on the on the truck as we, as we go. <clears throat> New tires are doing good. Truck's running great. You know, it's just the twenty year old stuff around it that's always going to be falling apart. But I guess that's how it goes when with any truck, really. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned. F subscribe, like all that stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.